Hello and welcome back to my channel, Lady Bidinit. I would like to welcome all of the ones that are returning for a monthly video and uh, welcome to all the new subscribers that are joining me for the video today and I hope that you will enjoy and stay for the future videos. I hope you didn't forget to make yourself a cup of tea or coffee to enjoy the vlog as it is becoming our little sort of like a tradition and uh, Ramsey hopefully will come and say a little hello to all of us soon. Today I will be talking about what I've been working on during the month of August. Um, the video is slightly delayed. Today is the 5th of September. <laughs> I forgot the date. Um, yeah, so it's the 5th of September. I do try to upload my videos at the end of every month. There was, there was a little delay uh, because of my wisdom tooth extraction. I had to take some time to recover and um, I also had some to take some time to actually make something that I could show you. <laughs> Ramsey, come here. Eddie, come. And here he is. We can do a little update on Ramsey every month as well. He's been very naughty as always, like he always is. But, um,. He's currently today with me, <laughs> helping for me to film the video. So, August... August wasn't as busy for me as I wish it would have been. Um, I did manage to release a pattern. Um, started the jump up on myself. I have finished overalls. So... Um, I have done a lot of knitting <laughs> so um, first of all I'll show you my socks which um, the pattern is already released they are called cloudy dreams yeah so uh, my pair has actually been uh, knitted holding holding um, my hair uh, from drops and um, hand dyed yarn um, I have knitted those ones for myself for sleeping with them in the winter as I am usually really really cold um, during the colder seasons so I wanted something soft and just fluffy to sleep with. They do have a really nice just a very simple uh, design. Ramsey is of course quite interested by them as well but um, yeah, they're my usual shorty one. That's the most comfortable size um, that I need the, um, the height. For some reason, I'm not a fan of a higher socks. Um, my mom really likes them. I tried knitting a pair um, and wearing it and I didn't succeed at all. I didn't like it. It wasn't comfortable. So I'm back to shorties. Um, the pattern can be found on Etsy. Uh, Lady with the knit shop or you can also find these on Ravelry. I'll also leave a link down below for you to to have a little look and maybe knit one of those for yourself for colder season as well. Now uh, last video I have also um, talked to you, was it last video? It might have been one of the vlogs. I said that I would actually like to try uh, knitting uh, with color, uh, so jacquard, is that how it's called? Probably. Um, so I found a pattern to follow from Plushka Beard and I started knitting myself a um, bunny. And then I also knitted Ramsey, stop it. After a little <laughs> challenge from Ramsey. Yeah, so I've actually done I've done it. I never ever knitted in color before. Well, I tried it once and it went terribly wrong. Um, on camera, it does look 
pretty good. I just have to, of course, sew it together and um, put the button. Yeah, but the dress is all done. Um, the parts for Death Shield Bunny, as you can tell, they're all made. But as always, I have the problem with sewing. I just, you know, I, I knit all the parts and then I hate sewing it together. I think the problem is um, that I still knitted this in a flat version. So I've done the hands and I've also done um, the legs. And then I started sewing together the head and the body and I hate, I hate it. Um, I don't like the way it's sewing up together. I don't think I will try to knit flat versions um, ever again. Um, I've actually started. I've, I thought I'll probably have to get myself just a um, set of DPNs and give DPNs a try. We'll see how that goes. But the outfits are all done. So the hat is made as well. And... Um, oh no, the legs like sh little shorts. I still have to knit them together. So this is still in the progress. And then what happened was that I started making this little cardigan, like a jacket from um, hair. So I was knitting this using um, drop skid silk. And I've actually never worked with um, only holding simple uh, one strand of my hair. And when I started doing this, I fell in love with the squishiness and the softness of it. Which then made me start the other project that I was working on this month. So this little jumper and this bunny was actually an inspiration for my second progress that I am currently working on. Um, I had some mohair that I was given from my mother-in-law. I thought that I will be using it. Um, but then after speaking to some people that are making really, really beautiful things... <sighs> You know, they encouraged me to actually use my own yarn and dye um, silk mohair. Man, just stop it. Such a naughty boy today. Yeah, so after speaking to them, they actually encouraged myself to, you know, to dye some mohair with silk and actually knit it uh, using my own yarn. So then, what I've done is I dyed up some hair, which, um, so for me personally, I think blue colors suit me really, really well. And um, I already, oh, my hair is everywhere now. So um, I had my Sorel, which is already made from um, blue color, blue yarn as well. And I so enjoy wearing it that I thought it would be quite nice to actually knit a jumper out of blue my hair again. So, I dyed up 150 grams, um, so I still have got two to skin up and one that I am knitting out of. And uh, the first one, you know, it, it's it's quite good um, on the yarnage. Um, I don't think I'll I'll probably fit in 150 grams. Um, the pattern that I'm knitting it or taking my inspiration from is Cleone's Knitting Designs um, which is Miro Mesnil uh, designed by Helen Vincent hopefully I did not butcher all of this <laughs> yeah so um, my original plan for this jumper was a um, it, it, I don't know I really want just a kind of simple knit uh, bodies with the puffy sleeves 
so um, I took the yolk and uh, all all of this body part I'll be knitting it from here from this pattern so I will be knitting uh, the yolk and the body by this pattern however I'm not too sure what I will be doing with the sleeves yet whether I will be following the pattern or whether I will just you know see where the inspiration takes me but this is how much I've gone so far as I said this is 50 grams uh, that I have knitted up so far and what happened here yeah so because I am hope hoping that I will fit in to a 150 grams from this first one I will knit as much of the body as the actual yarn lasts and then I will go back to knitting the two sleeves um, because I want really really uh, puffy sleeves I don't know how much yarn they will use so I definitely don't want it cropped but I also don't want to dye too much yarn so I don't have a lot of it left over in blue yeah and Ramses what are you doing all the time yeah so um, this is how much I've done so far you yeah, it's so so soft and so just snugly um, I don't think it's for everyone if you are very sensitive to wool um, it might be itchy I'm not as sensitive to um, hand dyed wool or superwash merino wool so I kind of I think I'll be fine I will probably have to just get myself a um, nude top so that I can wear it just you know like that I had to let Ramsey out <laughs> um, yeah so the sleeves will be puffy um, I'm not too sure what I will be doing with the neck because the sleeves will be quite puffy um, I don't want a lot of things going on on the neck so I'm a bit unsure um, if I will be leaving it just like that or I will be knitting some sort of collar but so far it's quite nice and you can't really see the increases as much it sort of blends in but you know I think I think I love it this is what I am actually working on the most at the moment the bunny is resting because sewing as you know is not my best friend and also I was doing all of this month I was doing some dyeing the yarns my aunt really wants me to knit um, her baby her boy a, um, a vest not a vest a gilet not a gilet what is it called I have to search it a vest <laughs> So all of this time and it was actually a rest so she really wants a vest and then she, she asked me to dye up some yarn for her and then I got inspired so this is the one that I will be using for the vest um, I'm going to be knitting it in a DK way he is three years old so I'm, I'm not I'm not the kind of free eye um, knitter I usually like to follow a pattern but I will try to freestyle this one which that's why I don't really want to knit it start it but um, yeah I first of all need to of course figure out what uh, needle size I need to use and also skein these up now when I started actually dyeing up yarn I dyed some pink ones that my mom fell in love with and her birthday is coming up this month so um, 
I gifted, you know, the yarn for her. And I said, would you like me to wind it all for you so it's all ready for you to start knitting um, straight away? And she said, yes, if you could that. And because I don't have the yarn umbrella, or how is it called? I think it's called yarn umbrella. I had to do it by by hand, unwinding it by hand and then twisting it together. So uh, winding up uh, two skeins of mohair and four skeins of um, DK, it took me more than two hours. So I actually went and just bought the umbrella. Um, so yeah, as soon as that one is delivered, I will be skinning those, uh, winding those up into a little yarn cakes and I will then uh, be knitting myself a little swatch because I have knitted my, uh, with DK yarn before and um, I'll probably knit it out a bit. I have to of course make up some calculations to see, to sort of make myself a pattern before I start working on it. But this will be the colors that I will be using. I got sort of inspired by dyeing yarn. <laughs> um, so then I dyed up some pink ones um, because the ones that I dyed in the previous lot uh, went to my mom. So I dyed up some more pink ones. It's so, I don't know, these ones, they're really nice. I might have to keep them for myself. I will see. Those ones, they're really nice. It's really, really nice. And then after those, um, I also dyed some blue ones for her to choose out of which ones she would like. Those ones are in my Etsy shop already. Which are really nice, just pastel greenish, bluish. And then also I wanted to do a bit of purple, purple tint yarn. So these will be going in the shop with the pink ones. And the neutrals are, those ones are now in my Etsy shop as well. The ones that have labels are the rest. There's still a little work to do before they go out in there and some yellows those ones i've actually tied up some time ago but just didn't have the courage to upload them onto my etsy shop so i don't think i've shown these to you i don't think um but those ones are in the shop and um the pink ones and the purple ones I'll see if I don't start knitting something out of it myself, then I will upload it as well. So these were my knitting um, things um, in the month of August. Um, month of August was a bit strange for me uh, in the knitting terms. I wasn't as motivated. Um, we had um, the vaccine, me and my husband. So um, my hand was hurting a couple of days and then I wasn't knitting and then I went to the office for a couple of days. And um, I don't know, I, I was just in a really strange mode. <laughs> so I didn't get done as much as I could have, but you know we are now in september autumn has started and um i think as the evenings will get longer i will get into knitting um much more again i am actually getting really really excited for christmas season um i can't wait to start opening and knitting up advent calendars um yeah i'm i just I feel like I love December out of all of the months the most so I always feel that I'm actually living from December to December so once December is over 
then everything is just gloomy and moody until December starts again. <laughs> I don't know. Um, maybe there's more people like me, but I think it's enough of rambling for today's video. Um, thank you so much if you have managed to watch it through. It was a bit of out of place this month, but I think from uh, from next month. Uh, from next video, I do need to go back into my usual routine uploading a video before um, the new month starts to kind of wrap it up as I do feel a little strange filming it now as we are in September already but I would like to wish everyone a really happy month um, hopefully you'll get to do a lot of knitting um, or other crafts and um, Thank you so much again for watching. Thank you for those that are coming to say a little hi on my Instagram page, which is lady underscore with underscore a underscore knit. It's very long. You'll find the link down below. And uh, I'll see you there. I'll talk to you there. We'll catch up in comment sections. Thank you so much for watching my video and have a lovely day, morning or evening, whenever you're watching. Bye.